Hey guys, um, today I'm just going to be doing a quick video of the Night Finder. Um, it holds one dart in its barrel at a time, but has a holder for two more. Um, it takes a little while to reload after every shot. Um, it's got a nice little thing that you pull back to lock and load. Um, very comfy grip. Um, as you can see, it's got the little places where your finger's going. And the trigger's got a nice little, um, yeah, nice little hold. Uh, my sight thing is stuffed, but as you can see, you don't really need to put anything on the tactical rail. It's just like there. Like, you just look through those two ridges. Um, I like the design of it. It's quite cool how it's got a laser as well. Um, just there. Uh, you can just see it. There's a little bit on the wall. It really only works in the dark. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll do a firing test. It uses Whistler's suction and suction cup darts and also dart tag but it does not use streamlines streamlines crap out on it um, also when I first got it I couldn't figure out where the hell you put the batteries for the laser in you unscrew that bottom bit and yeah then you just slide the batteries in so I'm gonna do a firing test just um yeah, I'll just go straight ahead. Now, as you can see, it's very powerful. The dart, I think it, no, nah, that mark was already there. Yeah, it hit about there and then bounced all the way back and landed here. So as you can see, I'm using Whistler darts. They probably work best in the gun. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's not much to say about the Night Finder because it's so simple. I don't really mod my guns because um, I'm a bit dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I'm going to do... A, uh, later on I'm going to do a, a lot of research to do with um, modding a gun because eventually if I do it, like if I'm prepared to muck up or anything like that, if I've got money for another gun or whatever, I'll definitely mod. But at the moment because I'm so scared that oh yeah, I'm going to shit it and then I'll never be able to use this gun again, like sure maybe not. I don't feel that way about the Night Finder, but I would, I do feel that way about the Stampede, because it cost a hundred Australian dollars. And same with the Long Strike, that was 70 Australian dollars, but that's still a, a fair bit of money in Australia, so, yeah, um, uh-huh, uh, yeah, there's just not much to say, really. So I'm just going to end it now. So I'll give this gun really probably just 10 out of 10. But the reason I'm scoring it so high is because for its standard, it's a great gun. Like, normally what you expect from a pistol is just a little pull the trigger, plop, the dart falls out, you know. Whereas this gun, this actually fires better than something like the long shot, uh, uh, sorry, the stampede or anything. But as I said in one of my other videos, my long strike is pretty, um, crap. It's, I've had it for a long time now, so it's taken a few uh, hits. Um, basically... My Night Finder, this one right here, 
goes further than my long strike. Now that's embarrassing to whoever like designed the long, like I don't know if it's a team and they just take all the ideas, but like whoever thought up the idea to make the long strike would be pretty embarrassed if they watched this video and saw that the night finder was better than the long strike. So yeah, um, that's why I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Um, so remember to rate, comment, rate, uh, good, and comment and subscribe. So thanks for watching. Also, I think I did a better job on the camera work this video, so, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.